Hey guys, it's Efton, a.k.a. Ian Floyd. And I uh, just want to say hi from Bora Bora. No, just kidding. This is just a vacation picture. I'm not actually there. <laughs> but I'm coming out with you with a new tutorial. Um, this time it's a GarageBand and uh, Skype tutorial showing you how you can record a two-track interview using GarageBand and Skype. Now, um, this is for the new version of GarageBand that comes with Maverick, which is called uh, GarageBand 10 or X, however you want to pronounce it. And you're going to need a couple pieces of free software um, to make this work. And that's with uh, Line In is one of them, and Soundflower is the other. So let's go ahead and get configuring. Uh, by the way, uh, I'll put the links below in case you need them, or you can contact me for the links for these two particular pieces of free software. If you also need a tutorial for the... Uh, other version of GarageBand, the 2011 version, just let me know and I'll do one. Fairly simple, but things are uh, are in a different place, so it may, may be a little more uh, tedious to do. But here we go. Let's start off. First of all, um, let's go ahead and set up our uh, two pieces of software. When you load in uh, Soundflower, Soundflower actually loads in the background, and there's nothing you have to do in here. Just leave everything to its default setting of none, and you're good there. Um, we're going to go into the system preferences just to make sure that everything is set up properly here. And basically, you want to make sure that your your mic and your speaker inputs are set up properly, which they should be if you are um, been recording. Uh, but just in case, um, make sure that you have your output set to whatever speakers you're using. Mine, it happens to be Saf Sapphire because I'm using a Sapphire FireWire device when my speakers are connected to that. And also, my mic is connected to that. To that. Yours might be uh, Blue Yeti for your input. So, um, or whatever microphone you're using or whatever um, interface you're using. So make sure that's set properly and you'll be able to tell by the levels that are coming out right here, as you can see. So that's good. Let's go over to the line in. Line in, you're basically going to set up like this. You're going to make sure that your input is set up to your microphone. Like I said, it could be anything. It's not. It won't be Sapphire unless you're using the same device I'm using. It's going to be your microphone input, whatever that is. Also, your output needs to be set to Soundflower 64, and you do that by selecting them right in here. Same thing with this one. Also, you want to go down to Advanced and make sure that your input settings are left to the default. And I believe they default to channels 1 and 2, but leave them to default. And then your output needs to go to channels 3 and 4, which is going to be your audio, where your audio is coming through on uh, Sapphire. Um, I'm sorry, on uh, your input. I'm saying uh, Sapphire because that's mine. All right, so close that up. We should be all set there. Make sure you hit pass through so that this will actually input the sound to, to that device. So in from this device, this device to your output. And that's by hitting pass through is what makes it work. So we can get that out of the way. Let's get into GarageBand. All right, GarageBand opens up. A couple of things you need to configure in here. So we got an empty track. So I'm double clicking on that. My tracks are set up. I want to get rid of this piano track. Um, because we're going for audio. Audio here, you want to set your first track to input one and make sure you're using the record, using a microphone or line input. Create that track, boom, you're there. Um, this is also needs to be selected on for this first track only input um, for monitoring so that you can hear your Skype call. So you can actually change this, by the way, to, let me put that back, I just double clicked on that. You can change this audio to Skype if you like. So you know which track it is. And then we're going to add another track the same way. This time we're going to put input three. As we remember, we signed it to three and four. Uh, so we're going to do this one, and you're going to be selecting the microphone input. Turn, Turn the monitoring off here, as you can see here, the doubling. And there's a slight delay. And it's really important with this. If you don't want to have that delay, you want to have your headphones connected into an external device, not directly to your computer. Otherwise, you're going to get that delay when you hit this, uh, when your monitor is. There is a slight latency problem. I haven't figured out how to adjust that yet. Um, this is new for me. I, have, I don't really use GarageBand, but uh, I know that people do. That's why I wanted to create this tutorial. All right, a couple things you also you need to configure um, in here. You need to go to Track. And you need to go to track header and and hit this uh, show record enable buttons so that you can get your record buttons. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to record your tracks. And the other thing you want to do is you want to go down to um, let me make sure I remember where it is. And you're going to uh, show smart controls, smart controls. And down here on smart controls, you're going to hit your input device, which is going to allow you. Uh, to set the channels or the tracks that you need, uh, the input channels to the tracks for each of these. Okay, so 
for your Skype track, we're on one. And we just and if you want to go stereo, just hit there. We signed it already, but this is kind of if you want to do a stereo track, you can go down here and click there. And on your audio track, uh, your microphone in, if you want to name that to host, you can do that. And I'm just double checking here. If you want to go stereo, you can click it here and have stereo for uh, recording on tracks three and four. That's your preference stereo track to actually make a bigger uh, file. So you can do that or not do that. But I just want to show you that you have that option to do that down here. Okay, so we are set. What we want to do is we want to arm each track here. Um, by clicking that, and you'll see that they'll be flashing on and off, and now both tracks are armed. And you notice I'm talking on uh, the host track, and you can see my levels, um, but nothing's happening on the Skype track. That's because Skype is not up. So let's go ahead and get into Skype. I have my Skype already open. You want to do a test call. If your test call, for whatever reason, doesn't show here, you need to type in your search bar, echo123, and you'll be able to find this Skype test call. Um, let's go into the preferences of Skype to make sure that's all set up properly. Um, let me see, you'll see me right now. Here I am. Hello. And um, you want to make sure that your microphone is set to your microphone, whatever that is, Blue Yeti or whatnot. And um, your speakers are in your ringer set to Soundflower 64 so that it's going out your speakers. All right, here, that's all you need to do. Close that out. And I think we're ready for a test call, guys. Let's make, make this happen. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the record button up here because we're already armed and ready to go. Um, we'll do that. Uh, other things you want to probably turn off this clicker up here click track and let's go ahead and do a Skype test call hello welcome to Skype call testing service after the beep please record a message afterwards your message will be played back to you so here I am doing a test test one two three test one two three this is a test for our Skype recording So here I am doing a test, test one, two, three, test one, two, three. This is a test for our Skype recording. So as it appears to record it in there. Let me go ahead and stop the track here. And uh, the lines are there. Let's play it back just to make sure that we got everything. It started about right here. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. So here I am doing a test, test one, two, three, test one, two, three. This is a test for our Skype recording. So here I am doing a test, test one, two, three, test one, two, three. This is a test for our Skype recording. And there you have it, guys. That's how you record a two-track interview using Skype and the new GarageBand. If you have any questions, um, you know, you can contact me and uh, please leave your comments below and I uh, hope you like it. So click like as well. Take care.